each and every one of us has a different relationship to scent. We have scent associations. So from a very early age, when we smell something that is connected to an experience or an event, we can carry that out through the rest of our lives. And some of those events and experiences can be positive and others neutral and still others that are really negative. So when having a conversation about smell, we should keep in mind that each person has this relationship to specific types of smells and their scent experience is no less valid than your own. So we don't want to tell people that their nose is broken if they don't happen to like a certain fragrance or they don't think that a fragrance smells that good to them. And not everybody is in the market to critique or analyze or assess fragrance in a manner that would show a level of expertise. A lot of us just enjoy fragrance to wear. So we need to keep that in mind before we decide to gatekeep, to profess that we have superior knowledge on understanding scent. And also, there is much discussion on performance. And while I most certainly put that as a lower priority on fragrance, everybody starts their fragrance journey somewhere. And for a lot of people, they learn that some of the tenets of fragrance appreciation is in fact performance, such as projection, sillage, and longevity. Once we continue on our fragrance journey, we may realize that it's a lot more than that. It's less of a functional experience, uh, but more of an artistic experience. Something for us to marvel or ponder or to just be in the moment with. And as we know in the society, it's very difficult for a lot of us to be in the moment. We want to have an ongoing experience. We want to have something that is going to keep giving us more that's going to perform, to work for us. And that says a lot about our culture, especially Western culture. So early on, I was more dismissive and critical of the attitudes that a lot of people who are new to fragrance enthusiasm or the hobby, uh, because they put too much emphasis on that. But now I understand it. And we can try to give them some perspective, but I think it's best for people to learn on their own and to let them learn as they go along, as they go on in their journey on this, uh, this sort of passion. And at some point they may decide that, yeah, this is what I want out of fragrance. I want other people to smell it on me. I want to continue smelling it at a different point later in the day. Um, but there are going to be others who say, you know what, it isn't so much about getting validation or getting attention, um, and I don't need to smell it for 12 hours. I want something that is just going to be a, a sensory experience that is going to make a lasting impression on me long after the fragrance is faded, and to welcome another application of that fragrance on their skin. So just a few thoughts. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in.